Hi, I'm Jonathan Miyako, and I'm a coach here at Rude Music, and I specialize primarily in piano and composition and in theory. And what I'm here to talk about today is practicing. And I know practicing is like the worst ever. Um, it takes a bunch of time, a lot of energy and effort. And um, I'm just here to tell you that it doesn't have to be as hard as it seems. Um, my whole thing is about practicing smarter and not harder. And I know that's a cliche, but it's a cliche for a reason, because really practice does not have to be this intimidating factor in your life that you don't wanna do. Um, so I'm just gonna share some of my own practicing tips and tricks, and I hope that you learn something. Uh, the first thing I typically do is I go into practicing with a plan. So I will not sit down at the piano without a kind of a general idea of what I wanna work on. Um, so I'll sit down and decide, okay, today I'm either gonna work on dexterity or sight reading or learning this piece that I've been wanting to learn. Um, so for the dexterity part, you know, it's really, you know, making your fingers stronger, right? Uh, that can be done through scales, arpeggios, chords, through exercises that Hannon has written or Chopin, things like that, just to kind of build the strength in your fingers and to understand what it really feels like to play the piano, right? Um, sight reading uh, is, the worst thing ever. Everyone hates sight reading, but it, you can actually get a lot better at it by just working on sight reading and not necessarily learning a piece, right? So sit down at the piano, decide, hey, I'm gonna read through a couple lines of this piece or this part in a hymnal, and just work on becoming more familiar with the notes on the page. And don't worry about having to memorize it or having to play it again, right? All you're doing is working on the exclusive sight reading portion. Um, the third thing that then I would probably work on is learning a piece, and I'll have another video talking more about um, what that looks like for me. But when you go into practicing, just kind of, you know, go in with a general plan and decide, you know, this is what I'm going to do. Um, something that helps me a lot is instead of practicing maybe for like an hour or two, two days a week, I'll try to practice maybe 10 to 15 minutes a day. Um, having smaller increments of time over longer periods of time is so much better just because it's more familiar and it, you know it's not as strenuous and you can sit down you can definitely sit down for 10 minutes a day instead of having to devote you know a whole hour um, so I find that a lot easier for me and it's just been really helpful for kind of setting it in my routine um, and I would say the last thing for me is when I sit down at the piano I don't let it intimidate me um, I try to view whatever instrument I'm playing as kind of like a friend, as weird as that sounds, but it really it's about building a relationship between you and whatever you're working with. So the piano for me isn't this unattainable goal, it's a tool, a friend, for me to work towards creating beautiful music and um, you know just like getting to know someone you know that takes time and that does take energy and that's not going to happen overnight and that's okay it's not supposed to so don't be afraid when you sit down to practice um, it th does not have to be intimidating for you at all so uh, i hope this helps you and happy practicing <laughs>